rodeo. One of the best spectator sports on earth, with a high cost to the cowboy. I got stepped on actually in 2001 and I lacerated my spleen with a rib. I was in a hospital for 18 days. This is Chad Davidson. Right and this is his office. There's a lot of preparation that goes into a rodeo. Ensuring the gates aren't obstructed by debris is very important. The majority of preparation is done by the cowboys themselves. It's called rosin to put on your rope. It makes your rope sticky. That way when you, uh, when you take your actual wrap and the bull, like this goes around the bull's belly and, and this goes through it actually and comes back around them and then comes into my hand. But the reason I put rosin on is because every time they kick, they throw lots of power at you and their, and their belly kind of blows out. And this keeps it from slipping out of my hand. To help you, we'd say he pulls out one. Jump and comes back. Chad has the bull riding technique down to his science. Everything is about staying off of their head because that's where they want you every time, right? So you just want to keep your spurs in them, ahead of your rope a bit, your chest out, your chin down, and that free arm up. How about it for all of our rodeo personnel? After the riders have been introduced and the national anthem sung, it's time to ride some bulls. The bull's number 695, his name is Bob the Builder. Um, he should go out there a couple jumps and then spin to the left. And a bull that spins is what you want, actually. So I'm pretty happy about my draw. I think I can ride this bull. I've seen him a few times. He can change it up, do a few different things, but for the most part, I'm pretty confident that I can ride him. It's time to get dirty. Trench Rodeo would like to send out a special thank you to St. Elmer Kinsman and the Little Friend Committee for having them here at this hospital. Let's get off the couch. That's where the money is. Overall, Chad plays second in the competition. Tim Evans, Nate News Watch Extra.